Isn't it mad that after three whole years, I still can't film an intro in front of Tommy? I've literally just had to ask him to go to the very top floor of the house so that he doesn't hear me starting this vlog because I get such bad stage fright and I don't know why. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. It's about 10 o'clock in the evening right now on a Monday and the reason why I'm starting the vlog now is because this vlog, as you have seen from the title, is gonna be a lot about house renovations and house updates, giving you guys a massive update on what's happening with the house in terms of the building work, furniture or lack of furniture. I wanted to start the vlog this evening because I know that the builders are starting to wallpaper the downstairs bathroom tomorrow morning. So I wanna show you the bathroom. I'm kind of sick of people coming into the house and saying, I thought you moved in. And I'm like, no, no, we have moved in. We're just living in an absolute warehouse right now. You know what? It's not actually the building work at all that takes the longest time. The building work's been so speedy. The builders have been incredible but it's just lead times on furnitures and picking furniture, getting furniture ordered. Um, that is the long part that um, I didn't anticipate. I really thought we'd have sofas like within a couple of weeks. I just think I really, really underestimated how long furniture would take. That's my biggest advice to anybody right now. If you are moving house or you're planning on buying new furniture, order it now. Even if you're not getting the house that you're moving into, or even if you're not wanting it for like a year or two years, order it now. Trust me, because you're gonna be waiting. I actually ordered a light, sorry, I'm gonna stop rambling, but I ordered a light for um, above our new dining table, which hasn't even been designed yet. <laughs> That's kind of the stages that we're at, but um, my interior designer that's been helping us, she was like, so the light's gonna be, tw and I was like, 12 weeks, thinking that's flipping ages. I was like, 12, 12 weeks, and she went, tw 20, and I was like, tw 20 weeks for a light. 20 weeks for a light, so that's four, eight, 12, six, uh, five months. But that's nearly half a year, half a year for a light. It almost gets to the point where you're like, you know what, don't bother, don't bother, leave it there with a bulb, I'm not bothered, because half a year for a light, it starts to get, it starts to get a little bit ridiculous. Like, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line? But anyway, no negativity round here. I'm not starting the vlog off on a negative. I just wanted to <laughs> fill you in and let you know where we're at in terms of the house and it is taking a long time, but we're getting there. So I'm gonna quickly go and show you the bathroom now because like, the builders start so early that they'll probably already be like really cracking on by the time we get up and I'm ready to come show you the bathroom. But I'm taking you into the downstairs bathroom. I've never actually shown you this before. A little, uh, a little sneak peek into something. So basically, we actually have a secret door into our downstairs bathroom. It's like a trap door, a secret door. I'm letting you guys in on a little, a little secret. Um, so as you come through here, as you can see from the small crack in the wood, you push on this wood and it becomes your downstairs bathroom. <laughs> so this is the downstairs bathroom. I actually posted this sink area on my Molly Mason account. Sorry guys, if the um, camera suddenly looks completely different, I just had to change cameras because something definitely wasn't right with that last camera. I don't know what was going on. It was just making weird movements. It looked like it was in slow motion almost. And as you can see here, the walls have been stripped of their wallpaper. But basically, it was very, very, very um, a busy wallpaper. It had loads of leaves all over it. It was like a jungle theme. And I just felt like personally, with the marble and such like the state statement sink area, I felt like it didn't really need a crazily busy wallpaper in here. So I've picked a really beautiful um, cream wallpaper that's gonna be going in here tomorrow. I am actually also changing the mirrors in here because I don't love these mirrors. I think they're really cute and cool, but I don't love them. I'd rather something with a light in, like an LED light, maybe like a nice big rectangular mirror. Anyway, I know that was kind of a short evening section of the vlog. I'm now going to be getting into this beautifully made bed. These cushions, actually, they're so beautiful. They're the ones that came in this lovely hamper that Mrs. Hinch did for me. Um, they're from her range of Tesco. They are so expensive looking. It's the most beautiful feel to them, and they just look really, really nice on our temporary little bed setup, which hopefully we won't be in for too much longer, even though I've got sentimental... I've told you guys this before, but this bed, it's been with us through thick and thin. This was actually the first bed that me and Tommy ever owned together. <laughs> I mean, it's a weird sentimental thing to have. I think we will be selling it soon because we are having these top bedrooms completely redone as well. Now, it's bedtime for me and Tommy and I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Hi guys, so it's a new day. I've actually got my teeth whining in right now because when I was editing yesterday's part of the vlog, I noticed my teeth actually looked really yellow. We don't want that. I'm actually joining you from another part of the house that I've not shown you yet. 
lots of uh, sneak peeks in this vlog. Um, I'm in the utility room right now, um, just because this is the only part of the house right now where there is no builders. But I'm pleased to say the bathroom is now wallpapered. Probably a little bit of a different reaction to what you thought I was going to give. I probably, you probably thought I was going to be like, oh my god, it's amazing, it's unreal. And it is, I do really like it, but there's just one thing about it that I'm a little bit gutted about. I'll take you in there and show you and you'll see what I mean. So through the trap door we go. The light's actually automatic in here, which is really, really cool. Sorry, Eggie, I'll have to wait out there for now, baby. So it's hard to do a grand reveal of the wallpaper because as you can see, it's super, super plain. Now, if I show you the up close details, you can see it's basically like a woven fabric, which I actually think is so beautiful. It looks so expensive. Sorry about the little lisp I've got right now, just because of my teeth whitening. But the one thing that I'm a little bit gutted about, it's not really showing up on the camera, but this, I didn't realize that this wallpaper basically comes in quite small sheets, if you will. So as you can see here, you can see the join and on this camera it's really really not showing up but it's actually the first thing that I noticed when I came in here was the join on the wallpaper which I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to things like this I'm not that big on interiors but when I notice things like this I'm like oh that's a little bit annoying if it was like here like towards the window and I don't know like I just think it's kind of smack bang in your eye line when you're walking in it's really not showing up on this camera so I doubt you'll even be able to really see what I'm talking about because the wallpaper is so plain. It's just like this woven wallpaper. I feel like we could do something really, really fun on the walls where we have like two big bits of artwork on each wall or one bit of artwork here and an LED light there. I think we could do something a little bit sassy. I feel like a downstairs bathroom is where you can sort of play around a little bit. To be completely honest with you, what's just happened in the last 15 minutes, I actually came in here, started talking to you guys, had to run off immediately to the toilet and have a few moments in the toilet to myself and a lot happened in that toilet and I'm not really sure how to feel about it but it just all came on out of nowhere. I feel like I can never have a day with just like, this is way TMI, but just like where are the normal bowel movements at? Like some weeks there'll be literally no bowel movements and then some weeks it's like they come thick and fast and you don't know when to expect them and I just wanna have a casual chat with you guys and bam, like straight to the toilet. Sorry for the TMI. I've just come into one of my favorite quiet spots of the house. I don't know why I didn't come in here earlier instead of the random utility room moment. And um, this is one of our spare bedroom bathrooms. Which I'm gonna show you properly in a minute because I did include this in another vlog, um, just this little area, but I didn't actually show you into that room and this bathroom. So I'll show you that. I'm just taking a minute to myself after a bit of a stressful phone call I had with Fran about uh, the wallpaper. She thinks it needs to come off and we need to go again so that's great um i'll talk to you more about that in a second i'm gonna take a minute de-stress myself slightly and i wanted to talk to you about something that i've absolutely been loving this is slightly random in a house vlog but oh well so on my instagram story the other day i did mention this amazing new device that i have been absolutely living for recently and that device is the foreo let me get it up the foreo bear device so the serum you just saw me apply there has been my go-to serum recently this is the foreo serum that you apply with the bear device obviously as you guys know i've been on a huge journey with filler dissolving i spoke about this in my stories as well i'm so here for anything that can give me similar results to when I, what i was trying to achieve with filler like getting a snatched jawline a risen cheekbone uh, but i actually just completely sabotage myself to be completely honest as you guys know the bear device does connect up through an app which i'm just gonna quickly switch on now i'm gonna press start on my app as you can hear there the bear device has started pulsating. I run it across my face like this in all the places that I want to tone slightly and it's sending microcurrents through my face. You can also adjust the level of microcurrent that you want it to send through your face. I've got it on level one right now but you can up it. I think it goes up quite high. The two main areas I like to focus on are the cheekbone and my jawline. That's where I used to try and get my filler to look like a supermodel and ended up not looking like a supermodel, I'll put it that way. <laughs> Definitely not looking like a supermodel. Hopefully you guys can see the little lift there it's giving to my cheekbone. I always feel like my eye, when I just use it on one side just to show, I feel like my eye always looks slightly higher. My jaw always looks more defined. But yeah, you guys know I swear by the Foreo products. I've been using them for coming up three years now. So yeah, that's me done with my little treatment for now. Face looking nice and snatched. No filler involved, thank the Lord. I'm gonna leave all the details down below so you guys can check out the Foreo there. Hey guys, checking back into this house development vlog. It's been a minute. Um, I've had a little bit of a 
gap between me filming the last clip of this vlog when I was in the spare bathroom upstairs. I'm still gonna show you that bedroom because I remember, it was so long ago, but I remember that I said I wanted to show you around that little part of the house because I don't think I have before. This camera, right, hang on. This, I need to just sort this um, thingy out because this camera was actually the reason, you're not gonna believe me because you're gonna think, yeah, yeah, you're just being lazy, but this camera is the reason why my drive with me Honestly, that drive with me really upset me because I filmed a really, really good drive with me, but this camera, the exposure was like completely messed up on it. And I just don't think the footage is usable. Like I've tried to edit it. I edited it on the way down to London on the train, but I'm just not happy with it because I basically spend the whole time in the video talking about how the camera's broken and that's just not really a fun video to watch. But anyways, it's actually a Sunday today and in a bit I'm heading to Franz for a little barbecue, which is really cute, little lovely wholesome Sunday. And then this evening, Maura's actually coming to stay, which is so nice. I've getting, I'm getting so many questions at the minute about me and Maura. Everyone's like, are you still friends with Maura? Like, you never hang around with Maura anymore. Well, like, guys, don't forget, she lives in London. I live in Manchester. We don't really, like, we're both so busy. We don't really see each other very often at all, but we're the, that kind of friendship that when we see each other, it's literally like we were together the whole time. So I'm so excited to see her. I think she's gonna stay for a bit of the week. Um, I have told her that I've got bits and bobs of work to do, but she's just gonna chill here. Um, when Maura comes to stay, she doesn't normally leave for about a year. <laughs> Um, she always comes days for so long, which I absolutely love. And Tommy's away at the minute as well. And I also want to show you around the house because I've got a bit of updating um, to do on the house. A piece of furniture came, my first piece, of our first piece of furniture. It's actually something to do with me though. So I say it's our piece of furniture in our home, but it's actually a piece for me. Um, but my office chair, my office chair is in the hallway. I'll show you it. It's wrapped up at the minute. I don't really want to take it out of the wrapping, even though I really want to show you guys because it's beautiful. But if I take it out of the wrapping, then the cats will 100% claw the crap out of it. As well, there's been some exciting updates in our master bedroom bathroom. And um, that's really, really coming together. I think the last time I showed you that on the vlog, it will have looked nothing like it does now. So that's really exciting. And then the final thing I wanted to also update you on um, I think I did mention it briefly when I vlogged last time is that we have decided that we're going to be changing the wallpaper in the downstairs bathroom because I just I don't like it. Um, it's not the wallpaper that I dislike but it's just walking in there every time and seeing that seam that goes down it just doesn't hit the spot for me. It's is it the feng shui? No, the feng shui is like how you line up furniture, I think, or like the how you organize a room. But anyway, something's off about the bathroom with that wallpaper and I just don't like it. I'm not feeling it. So I think we're going to change that. <laughs> so the one thing we actually completed, I was like, yeah, I got a job done. We're actually redoing it because it's not right. Next week, I think, I think my wardrobes are getting installed. I literally can't believe I'm saying that. Um, if it actually happens next week, I think I'll cry with excitement because that's such a big thing. Like that'll be my walk-in wardrobe, like heading towards being not finished because it still needs carpet, but I can probably fill it up and just make sure I wear shoes when I go in there because the floor is like full of like dust and nails and glass and all that stuff. It's a building site. But yeah, there really isn't much going on in the house. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I have been getting a little bit down about it because obviously as you guys know, I spend a lot of time away from home and every time I come back home, I get this overwhelming feeling of excitement to come back home. But then when I walk through the front door, I walk into this huge empty space that doesn't feel very homely and I'm just so 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 excited for it to like hopefully soon start feeling like home because this split up sofa situation please let me show you what we're actually having to deal with right so I've just noticed the little water fountain how cute I bought this water fountain for the cats um, off Amazon it was only like 20 quid and it took Tommy and I yesterday all morning to build it and they've actually been loving it they've kind of become a bit disinterested in it now when when I first put it down they were fascinated by it but um, if your cat isn't drinking as much water as it should be through these really really stifling hot days then maybe look into getting one of these because it's meant to help them drink more water not that I'm the cat expert um so yeah we've split our sofa into two so there's two sections in our daytime living space with the TV is there and through here <laughs> we have the other half oh hi Fred hi handsome boy Can you say hi to my friends say hi friends I'm Brad I'm gorgeous I'm so gorgeous it hurts oh no I'm sorry I can't have you ever seen have you ever seen a more beautiful kitten the other half of the sofa in here so we can use our formal living room and watch the tv in here so 
I don't know, that's literally all the furniture that we have in this house. Um, everywhere else is completely empty. Um, but we are gonna be soon having, hopefully having a dining table here. I've never really shown you around the house like this before. This is really weird. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're gonna have a dining room table there. A big LED light there, which is actually a little surprise that I'm planning for Tommy. Um, I'm having something really, really, really special done, done for this wall. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys, because I mean, he doesn't watch my vlogs. <laughs> Um, because he gets too much of me in real life to then go and watch me further on my vlogs But something really, really special is going to be happening on that wall and I'm excited to show you guys and I'm really excited to show him um, But yeah, so that's kind of why I've been getting a little bit down because obviously I walk into The dream home, this home that we've waited three years for and I want it to feel, you know, so amazing and homely And I know it will soon. Um, sorry, this is my office chair. I'm just make sure my dress isn't on it. Hang on Okay, no address. So yeah, this is my office chair. It is so beautiful. It's a cream, you can't really see it. I really don't want to take it out of the package because I know the cats will literally, I'm just trying to like prevent them destroying it before I even get to use it. But it's in that boot clay, I think it's how you say it, boot clay um, fabric. And it looks very, very comfy. I'm not actually sure what the bottom of it looks like, so it's all wrapped up, but I'm just leaving it covered for now. And then also we have here uh, the TV for our bedroom. This is a 77 inch. TV that's going in our bedroom. And then this is me, looking in absolute state. I'm actually going to a full on little family barbecue event thing. Will I actually even bother drying my hair? No, I mean, Fran sees me in some states, to be fair, she probably would think I'd make a bit more of an effort today. Um, but this is me. So as you guys know, um, that mirror out there, the Timothy Alton mirror has been the mirror of my dreams for a very very long time and there's a big story behind it where i ordered it like three times had to return it every single time because it wouldn't fit into the um apartments and the houses that we rented before we lived here and then when we moved in here the first thing i did was order the timothy olsen mirror back and now it's in its place i i how do i explain this i do love the mirror and i always will love the mirror but because all the banisters on the stairs and all of the like timber work on our house is brass and in like a sort of dull gold color the mirror is silver and it's throwing me off now i know i mix gold and silver jewelry i do i'm not wearing my rings right now but i do mix gold and silver jewelry but mixing gold brassy and like silver <laughs> furniture it's not hitting the spot it's not hitting the spot I'm, I'm not gonna lie let me just show you what i mean and i am being a bit of a perfectionist but obviously on the stairs and the lights on the stairs i need to get a new bulb for that one um but the but these parts here are obviously black but any sort of hardware is this gold brass color um and then that's the, the theme running through the whole house even like on the lights here even on like the um details on the doors and stuff it's all brass and then you come here and it's just like pure silver. Now what I'm hopefully, hopefully gonna do is I'm gonna hopefully have the frame stained to be more in line with the rest of the house. So it's not like this big silver eyesore that doesn't fit in with the rest of the house, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm working on. I've had a couple of people come in to like quote me and talk to me about it and they just saying they could spray it or like paint it. I think it'd have to be hand painted. Um, but yeah, I want to fall back in love with this mirror again because it's my dream mirror But I think just because it doesn't quite go with the rest of the house. That's why it's throwing me off a little bit Okay update. I think I actually look worse than I did before <laughs> I've washed my hair and then just backed it up in a bun and put hairspray on it because I Started drying it but because it's obviously about 3800 degrees in the UK at the minute a hairdryer is actually not where it's at like I don't need added heat to the room and my body. And I have actually just popped some of the flora in the sinks because this cat food situation wipes the tears away as she talks about it because it's actually really not fun. Um, I spoke a bit on my stories the other week about me really wanting to wean the cats off their wet food because the smell, I just... <sighs> like, my biggest thing is anybody coming into this house and thinking smells in here like smells like cats i hate that because obviously like you, they wouldn't say anything but i know they're probably thinking it and i think it as well like i can smell the cat food and it's not nice and even though it's like right at the back of the house i feel like when i walk in the first thing i'm thinking is i can smell the cat food and it's just horrible but they love their wet food so i just i don't know i maybe need to start putting it outside and make like a little hutch 
because obviously they're house cats as well so then you can't like even open the doors to air the place out it's actually not this whole wet tuna thing on the floor like I'm literally putting wet fishy salmon tuna in bowls in our conservatory like where it's hot like it's heating up it it's not like who would ever like put a tin of tuna onto a plate and then just put it by the back door like just leave it there like it's literally like you're literally asking for your house to stink so anyway I've just had a really really good clean of the house sprayed all the surfaces down um, I've just popped some Zaflora in the sink with some boiling water um Zaflora actually sent me a little package just pop this stuff in here um, they sent me a little package of some cutie bits loves the flora nice little air freshener I try not to spray things like this too much though because obviously I don't want it to harm the cats um so I'd normally do it when they're upstairs or something but yeah that's the setup at the moment I am now going to head out to Franz for this little barbecue and then hopefully when I get back I can then show you around the bathroom and then update you on the other parts of the house hey guys not me joining you from the complete building site in my filter dressing gown looking very cute it's actually four o'clock in the afternoon right now and Maura and I have had a completely not a chill day she's downstairs chilling I know the last time I spoke to you uh, it was actually only yesterday so I've not done too badly I didn't have a chance yesterday to show you around the master suite area that has had a lot of development since I last showed you guys a massive amount of development I think um it's been a slow progress. The building work's not been slow. The building work's been amazing. The builders I picked are just, they're so amazing. Bending down in that position was making me so out of breath. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little show around. As I was saying, the builders have been incredible. Um, they just come into this area and hide themselves away all day and they're just so, so amazing. So I'll show you where we're at now. I mean, you're gonna be like, Molly, it's literally still a complete and utter building site, but I'll just show you anyway. I'll start off by showing you me looking super glamorous not to self plug or anything but this dressing gown i actually do live in it um it's the best dressing gown of all times and also i just put some cleaning solution um on my ear because i actually just got a piercing <laughs> i put it on my story i don't think i mentioned it yesterday but yeah i got a new piercing just this one here and Maura was like your ear looks really red and i was like it's funny you say that like it's been killing me and I've not wanted to, I didn't want to make a fuss about it because it was self-inflicted and I literally chose to get this piercing but I have been in so much pain with this piercing. I had this one pierced not that long ago, this third hole and I think because that's like lobe, I didn't have a single issue with it, it didn't hurt at all, like I could sleep on it straight away. This on the other hand is a completely different story, like the pain, the pain is abnormal. Um, so if my hair looks all soaking wet here, it's actually because I just saturated my whole ear in this like mist that um, they gave me where I got my ear pierced to just hopefully clean it and stop it from getting infected. Anyway, sorry, sidetrack. So here we are in our master bedroom. I know it looks like an absolute state, but the only reason that is is because they're kind of using this room as a bit of a workshop right now. So they have this table here, which they've been like sorting things for the bathroom on um, if you actually cleared out the room of all the bits and bobs it is actually a finished empty space the only thing that needs to be fixed is like light fittings and stuff the only big project that needs to be completed in here is this wall here that's going to hold our television and we're also having a fireplace put in i think i have told you guys that uh, but yeah we're having a fireplace put into this wall um just underneath the tv so that's the only thing that really needs to be done in our master bedroom. These brown slats here are being um, sprayed cream and white to go with the theme of the bedroom because I'm not sure if you guys know this, but this is gonna be like a cream white dream. Everything's just gonna be so light and dreamy and airy. And I'm just so, so, so freaking excited for it. I'm going around the little bend to Tommy's dressing area. The, there's parts in here that are also getting sprayed cream. So these, wooden slats here as well. I'm not sure if we're changing the light fittings in here. I haven't actually thought about that yet. Now I'm going to take you through to the biggest transformation I'll be able to show you <laughs> up to this point. So this is our master bedroom bathroom. I actually cannot re remember for the life of me what state this was in when I last showed you, but I know it was nothing like this. Um, so yeah, this is really, really coming along. The cornice is now up, as you can see, and um, the light fittings aren't staying like that. But um, yeah, this cornice is finally sort of going up and coming together which really ties in the bathroom with the rest of the house because we have these ceiling details running through the whole of the building this is our double shower which you can see is kind of coming to life a little bit there's the two nozzles there for where the two shower heads will be we've got the little seats on either side a little um, shelf to put products on 
in this little nook here is where our toilet will go and um, hence why they've sort of built this wall out here so when you walk in you don't really see the toilet which i actually really like there's going to be mirror on that wall and then this is where our vanity will be i know it's all like using your imagination right now um because you're literally just looking at a building site right now but this is really really actually starting to come together and i can stop like definitely see the shape of how the bathroom is going to look then coming through the bathroom into my dressing room area which hasn't had any development because my wardrobes are actually getting installed on wednesday um so my wardrobes will literally go the full way around the room we're actually covering up this window with wardrobe keeping this window open uh, with a little window seat there my vanity unit with the mirror where i do my makeup and stuff going on this wall and yeah so yeah i'm definitely not coming into here showing you like a finished project we're still far off well no i don't know we're not far off like the building work is basically done we just need the materials to now put in like the tiles which i think are hopefully coming this week and um, the bath sinks shower heads like the nozzles for like the temperature of the shower like things like that, that you just even you don't even think of how many things you need to order the list is endless like i said the builders have been flipping faultless like i i'm just so happy that i kept the same builders on that had built they, the builders that i kept on have actually built this house um the house was i don't know if anybody actually knows this because i told a friend this this morning and she didn't know this but basically this house is like a brand new house it was built up like from the ground up only six months before we bought it <laughs> so it's a brand new house and we decided to keep the builders on that built the house to do the changes so it was kind of heartbreaking for them because obviously they came in then they were like we've literally just fitted this bathroom or we've just literally fitted this wall or these light fittings and you want to rip them out and i was like yeah i do <laughs> sorry so it was probably quite heartbreaking for them like they literally completed the job and it looked beautiful but certain things weren't to our taste or to like how we visioned it um but yeah keeping the same builders almost the best decision i ever made because they've just been faultless and just so caring as well like you'd never think that builders would care about two house cats but like they're just so like thoughtful to the point where if they're like they're constantly in and out of the house but they will always make sure they shut the door straight away because they know how important it is that eggy and bread don't get out just little things like that mean so much to me like even offering one time to feed the cats and like do the cats need feeding like i just think that is so sweet so not a promo or an ad no discount was included but they're just amazing i'm going to be including details of who did a lot of the jobs around the house on my molly mason account when things get close to being done and another thing is that i'm i'm not active on molly mason at all but guys i don't know what that is to show you like i, I could definitely go on my stories and be like yeah so this is like the but there's just nothing to really show like i just don't know and i want to be more active on there but hopefully when we start getting furniture there'll be more to show because at the minute i don't know who really wants to see like a load of dusty sawing machines and like sanding i don't even know like cement bowls and stuff like it's not the most aesthetic another funny thing that happened um me and maura had to sleep downstairs last night on the sofa because obviously mine and tommy's bedroom isn't done yet which is this room here so we are currently sleeping on our top floor in the loft let me tell you the thermometer on the wall last night read that it was 31 degrees up on that top floor like more literally said she said if i go to sleep in this bed i'm worried that i actually won't wake up like from the heat because obviously in the uk i know to a lot of people like 31 degrees doesn't even sound hot but we don't have air conditioning like we're not equipped for this kind of temperature um so we had to go downstairs and sleep on the sofa um which was a lot cooler but yeah sleeping on the sofa when you've just bought a brand new house and you're meant to be enjoying it. It's not really what you want to be doing. Like when your best mate comes around, you're like, sorry, Maura, I'm gonna have to sleep on the sofa. There is a prince, a white slow leopard, sat on the stairs. Eggy. Hi, darling. Go sit downstairs with us. Oh, you handsome boysy. <laughs> no, guys, no, this must be a sick joke. This is what I'm saying. 33 degrees on our top floor. 33 degrees on our top floor i don't know what to actually do right and eggy why you insist on sleeping up here baby i don't know because i don't know if it's very safe to be fair though if he was too hot i'm assuming he would just come downstairs because oh this is nice don't really let me do this oh that's she of you okay hello i look like a if that's filming, I'm actually gonna chop my head off. My teeth are yellow. So I've am got I! 
butts all over my face. I my was chest watching, is burnt. I was watching some of this back yes, um, earlier and I was like, my teeth are the colour of that. That's, that's the colour of my teeth. <laughs> that. That like orangey freaking brown. Maybe oh. we'll set a new trend. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I've been using this, which by the way, I've seen absolutely nothing from. About a million pounds for that pot. And you think oh, I'm joking. Is that the eye cream? No, oh, no, because I bought the eye cream and honestly it was about £300, yeah. £300 at yeah. the time. Yeah, this was about, I think, £100 for this size pot, just to compare it to the size of my head. £100. Seen no benefits. Celibate? No, the, um, there's a word on Miracle. it. Miracle? No! I don't know what you're talking you about! You get pregnant without having sex! Yeah, how? Oh, I'm Googling it, do you know what? You're it's called the... Out of your bum. It's called the something conception. Miracle conception. No, it's not a miracle. Well, it is a miracle because you didn't have sex. How would you get pregnant? Wait, is it a miracle? I don't want a baby. I am absolutely making the most of the fact that Maura's gone downstairs and I'm borrowing all her really expensive skincare because why wouldn't I? After I showed you round the building development in the house, Maura and I went for some dinner um, at a little restaurant near here. We had Italian, I had a carbonara. Lovely. Then after we had Italian, we came home and watched a bit of Love Island. It was a really long episode. I thought all the episodes were an hour long, but this one was like an hour and a half. Um, it's quite beefy. Like, I mean, I have only just started to get quite into it um, since Casa and More, because I feel like that's when it got really exciting. And um, unpopular opinion. I know everyone seems to like hate on Tasha. That's what Maura was telling me, because obviously I'm not on Twitter, so I don't really see what she was saying. Everyone seemed to have like, quite a strong dislike for Tasha, but I would never have picked up on that, you know. I know obviously it took her a while to like make things official with Andrew and settle down and stuff, but I don't know, I just don't feel like, I don't really think she's been very problematic or done anything majorly wrong. Maybe that's just an unpopular opinion. Obviously you guys saw me as well using the bear, the Luna bear um, at the start of this vlog. Not an ad by the way, but I just literally use this every single night with my cleanser, this is the Foreo Luna Free 3, not free, <laughs> Foreo Luna Free, I just did it again, 3! So my face doesn't feel fully clean unless I use this device, like, especially like round my nose and stuff, just really gets, really gets that additional dirt out, um, if I don't do it, I just feel like I've still got makeup left on my face. It's probably not a bad time for me not to be on Twitter, because I think I would actually be getting so angry seeing or like, not the hate, I don't, I don't know what's going on on Twitter in regards to this year's Love Island, but it's never pleasant, is it? <laughs> People are just so savage, and I know exactly how that feels. Like, I was just saying to Maura there, everyone, well, everyone in the villa saying, like, Tash is fake, Tash is fake, like, that was literally me, guys. That was actually me. <laughs> how funny. Oh, dear, like, I feel sorry for her, because obviously we don't know. I guess we'll see when her and um, Andrew come out, but can't accuse someone of being fake. Like, I just, oh. I was basically Tasha in this year's series. No, my series, I was basically the Tasha, like everyone accusing me of being fake, everyone saying that I was with Tommy to get to the final. And here we are three years on. So maybe Tasha will prove you all wrong um, or prove the boys like in the villa wrong that she is real. A little bit of face cream on, even though I literally just mugged this cream off. I need to use it up. Anyway, I do I do definitely don't think it was worth the money. Um, I've not seen any difference. Why my boobs? I've not seen any difference in this Lumet Air cream that cost me an arm and a leg to say like my Bobbi Brown cream that I love or my Elemis creams that I love. Like, I really, really don't know. I, I was expecting like unbelievable things from this, but it really hasn't um, impressed me that much to rebuy it for. Eight million pounds. There appears to be a broken cat on my landing. <laughs> I've never caught this on one of my vlogs before. I'm so, so glad I've walked out to this because I know I include way too much cat content and I'm sorry, not sorry. But does anybody else's cat lie like this? Apparently they do this when they're like 100% comfortable and feel very, very happy. So that makes me feel good, but like, I think my cat is potentially broken. Like, sorry to ruin your dignity bread and show you little boy bits, but like, is everything okay at home? Is everything okay at home with that big, scruffy belly? Oh, stretching. Are you stretching my bready bozer? 
I've snuck off to the utility room again because genuinely today there are that many builders in the house that even if I went in that lovely spare bedroom, which I still haven't showed you yet, I'm going to put that in the next vlog because I'm, I need to do like a, I don't want to do a house tour, but I definitely need to like start showing you around the rooms properly because I feel like I've not really done that. Oh my gosh, what was that? I think it was the washing machine. Um, guys, today is such an exciting day because my wardrobes, ah, my wardrobe room has literally just started getting built. Like I'm so excited, but I'm actually going to be filming a whole separate video for my wardrobe room i did it for the time i was in the apartment um and i did like a wardrobe transformation and that video did really really well you guys loved that even though it was like a year, like a year and a half ago um but this is going to be like my wardrobe for so many years so it's like a really really big thing we have covered every single little detail that you could even possibly imagine for this wardrobe like every single rail length and height and width and what will go where this vlog is getting so so long and i want to start my wardrobe vlog today because the wardrobes are getting fitted right now so i want to show you the process and stuff so i'm going to bring this vlog to a close i know it's a really really long one let me know down below if you're still like loving the longer videos if you can hear shouting outside that's maura ellen and erin we're all just ch chatting in the living room yeah comment down below if you're loving the longer videos and let me know if you still want me to keep them the vlogs like sort of 30 minutes plus because normally i do like 20 to 25 minutes and like i kind of enjoy them being longer but anyway guys i'm gonna start waffling if you made it to the end of this video then i love you millions and hopefully i will see you all in my next one bye guys